these are my tips. The CIS 105 at Arizona State University online. CIS 105 is focused on uh, business technology. The first half of it is where you stu actually study business technology terms and all of that stuff. The second half of it is based on um, Microsoft Excel. And this is mostly based on spreadsheets where you are trying to figure out different codes that you would use in Excel to make uh, budgets and play around with numbers. So during this class, uh, one of my biggest resources uh, has, to, has to be Quizlets. I'm in the sixth week of the full A semester, and I've used Quizlets to study during the whole class. And uh, so far, I got an A plus in the class. The way I use Quizlets is I'll open a tab during the test since it's open book. And I'll also study with the app on my phone because they do have an app. It goes right on your phone. And I'll study the learn section until I pretty much don't even have to look at what the answer is. And that's how I've been using utilizing uh, Quizlets. When using Quizlets, search for the book, which is A, B, C, C, chapter, and whatever chapter that you're in. Also, when you are taking the test, it would be a good idea to open the lecture in a separate tab also. And by doing this, you can actually either let the video play in the background while you're doing the test. And sometimes you'll start to remember the points of the video where that specific note was, or I will click through the video, look at the top to see what part of the lecture that I'm in and if it goes along with the subject of the question that I'm trying to answer. And that also has helped me during the chapter quizzes. In the Excel portion of the test, I have been studying with the practice assignments. What I'll do is I'll go through the practice assignments a few times until I feel like I remember the coding or whatever that I'm trying to do in that Excel, my educator assignment. And that's pretty much how I do it. Sometimes I have to go back and look at the lecture, doing it like this to see exactly what is going on in the class. So the lectures do come into play again. You can also use Google to find out information about certain terms during the ABCC chapter quizzes. Sometimes you will not be able to find the exact question. So what I do is I'll chop it up. If I'm trying to see what a certain term actually means, I'll ask Google, what is this blank term, whatever you're looking for, and just run through it like that. Please support me by visiting my website, thepursuitforhappiness.com. Also subscribe and like my videos.